Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here. This week we're going to touch on one of the topics with our new Blue Nami about the ability to run it before, between both DCC and the Bluetooth mode. And then we're also going to touch really briefly on both Android and Apple. So guys, let's get started. Now, one of the things that we've talked about it with our Blue Nami is the fact that you can run it on a DCC system as well as the Bluetooth wireless control app on your smart device. Now, one of the questions that has come up over time is how do I switch back and forth? Well, right now I have this Santa Fe locomotive here in front of me, locomotive address 52, and I've got it running on the DCC system. So I can blow the horn, I can ring the bell, I can move the locomotive in various ways and so forth and we're going to turn off the bell we're going to change directions and you can see that we're moving the locomotive using our nce power cab our dcc system now the question is is when we connect to the app what happens well over here on my ipad i do have myself connected to the locomotive but i have not actually connected and communicated with it i'm just paired up to it so i can still run it on my DCC system even though I am connected. But now when I actually go into the throttle mode, now my app is going to communicate with the locomotive. It's going to read all the CVs and once that's done, now I have full control here on my device. So I can turn on the bell, start moving the locomotive in various directions, and blow the horn. Now, without touching anything, and you haven't seen me touch anything here on my throttle, I can send commands, and I can have no control of the decoder using the DCC system. Now, the reason for that is it wants to make sure that when you're operating using the Bluetooth, that somebody else doesn't come in and start trying to send commands to your same locomotive. But the question is, how do I go back to DCC command? And the answer is really that you have to cycle the power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and exit out of here, we're gonna disconnect, and we're just simply going to cycle the power. So I'm tipping the locomotive over to break contact with one rail, set it back down, decoder powers up. Now I'm back controlling it using the DCC system. And I have my forward and my reverse commands. Everything's back controlled. But as you can see, I have the option now to connect to the locomotive here on the iPad. Now, just to show you guys a little bit further of the flexibility, we're gonna go ahead and connect on our smart device over here. This is the Android tablet. So now using the Android app, you can actually see that I'm connected to my PA. So now I'm simply gonna go back to my standard operating mode. And just like the Apple uh, iPad did here, it's going to connect and communicate and get all of the information and all the CVs and everything so the menus match. Now, I have control of it using the Apple or the Android app, and you can see that I have throttle command, direction, and again, we have their same thing. We have our bell, longhorn, shorthorn, and then now when I go back to my DCC system, as you can see, the decoder is ignoring the DCC commands. So this use of the Blue Nami really gives you the benefit of all scenarios because you can use it with your DCC system. You can use it with your Apple iPad, or if you're an Android person, you can use it with your Android tablet, or of course the smartphones respective to each. The decoder is very versatile that you can use any control system that you desire. And as we've talked about in past videos, if you even have a DC power source, you can just power the decoder up using DC power on the layout and then connect using one of your smart devices. There's no difference between the Apple or Android as far as the decoder's concerned. It's just paired to the device and it communicates back and forth with that. So the difference between the Apple and Android is of course the operating system and how that signal and that communication is sent, not necessarily how the communication is received with the decoder. So all of you guys out there that are Apple, Android, or just DCC, all of you guys can get all of the benefits of the Blue Nami. And especially if you guys don't like CVs, you can use the Blue Nami app to make all your settings and adjustments, such as whistle selections, bell selections, volume adjustments, light settings, and more. 
and then go back to operate your locomotive using your DCC system. So guys, I hope this has been hopeful for you. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button down below and also subscribe to our channel. We've got lots of great informative videos that we do like this every week so that we can help you enjoy your hobby just a little bit more. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.